<laughs> I'll see you tomorrow at 8 in the morning. You're supposed to be Dick's Hey, Chris, you're here at 8, yeah. right? Huh? 8 o'clock? So, we're at the Weck Method Lab. Hello, everyone, in San Diego with David Weck. What do we got here? We got some scooters. Yeah, these are awesome scooters. We're about to head off. Where are we going? Uh, we're going to go to the convention center and then we're going to scoot around San Diego and shoot some amazing content for you. For you guys. Let's look. Uh, I, I got to figure out how I need to swap hands here. It might be a little challenging to ride with that. Okay. Oh, there we go. Woo! I'm bet. Is there a break? Oh, shit. <laughs> Did it get one hand? It's not going to work. <laughs> I want it to work. It's not going to work. Right. I'll see you when we get there. Right, we made it to the convention center. What's the plan now? We're gonna do some pulsing up these steps. We got, I think, why don't we do... We got some steps. Why don't we do head over head over foot on stairs. Yep. And then we'll add the pulse. Yeah. The pulsers to head over foot. Okay, cool. Wait, this rope has a fantastic weight. It cuts the air nice and there's that, mm. that pop. So yeah. if we want to pattern locomotion, right? With the rope, all we do is an underhand figure eight. So I'm looping this way. If there's pebbles on the ground, they're going that way. And then all I do is I figure eight every step I get to that side. So I'm here, here, here. And that represents the balance of head over foot. Mm -hmm. Center goes straight, everything else coils around it. That's gonna make our staircase so much easier, so much more productive when we train according to efficient locomotion, swinging, throwing, catching and carrying. We have the four fundamental functions of survival at right. the outset of our species. Jeez. Front view here, you see how he has that figure eight rotation from side to side? And we want to exaggerate this in training so that you've got everything in between and then you just set it and forget it. It becomes your new normal and you're moving like a big cat, a real athlete. You see, boom, see how he times that switch, times that switch and he doesn't need to switch. He's not out of balance. He doesn't need to go there and that means he can go there. You film from up here Yeah. and I put on a microphone. Yeah, I put a mic. Now look at the steepness of this. Yeah. And then you can just zoom in and track me up the stairs and you'll hear me talking about it. Okay. Right? Yeah, let's do it. All right, microphone. It's so, it's so steep. I'm looking at you and I'm like, wow, I gotta really bend my neck. You ready for it? Okay, for the first repetition, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over foot and just walk it up the stairs, head over foot. So what that's doing is that's making the next step easier and full balance and drive through. Now I can pick up the pace and just shift that head over the foot. That right there, I'm gonna show you why this works. When I coil my core and I come here, my hip gets raised up. So now I have a balance that now that hip is high and when I hit it, I get my whole core to express. If I'm in the middle, I'm not balanced, and so, and I'm not changing my hips, so it's more work, and it's not as productive. The gluteal fascia and everything, right? Like the, yeah, it's just, like, if, if I'm straight, then I'm going that way, because yeah. the force vector wants me to go there. So if I'm going straight, last thing I want is to be head in the middle. Yeah. I want head over foot, head over foot. So when I get there, I'm there. So I'm going up and down, right? So it's extremely powerful for stairs because that wants to go up, up. If I'm going down the stairs, I don't want to be going up. What I do is I same side stride. Do you see how I can switch my feet? No vertical displacement whatsoever. So I can, I can now run perfectly level when I keep same side to go down the stairs, I'm just gonna bias it on this side and I'm not going up. So there's less wear and tear, a lot easier to do, safer. I'm just Boom. Now, to come up, head over foot, 
two steps at a time, I want to basically fly up these steps. And when I get up to the top, I don't want to be tired. Cheetah don't stretch. Here's a fire over there. I don't got time to foam roll. Yeah, you're like 52, right? 53. 53, all right. Nice, all right. All right, I'll get you. Here you go. go now. Here we go. Took it in for this. Head over foot. Figure of eight with the, with the ribs. Here we go. Just single step for now. You can see that spring I can see get. See how he's landing that head over the front. My head over foot. Boom, Easy, boom. powerful you don't do balance. This. Look at that. Look yeah. That. It, Here we go. Try one where you just go hit spine straight. Okay, a whole rep. Like do, do a rep where you go spine okay. straight. I'll go down spine straight, keep rolling. Keep rolling yeah. On yeah, I'm rolling. I'll go down spine straight and then up spine straight. Yeah. And then I'll go down, same side straight, up head over foot. Next. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. So look at that. So he's in the middle now. He's keeping the spine straight. Every step slightly out of balance if he's trying to go straight. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is hard work, David. <laughs> well, it's not just hard work, it's inefficient work. You don't want your nervous system yeah. doing sort of this like wrong strong. Yeah. All right, same side stride and now head over foot. So I'll pitch up to the side. So he's going to go same side stride. Look at how smooth that is. Not going back up biomechanically. He's keeping the center of mass. Boom, easy. Right. Now he's going to hit. Do two steps, Tim. Two steps, head over foot coming up. Head over foot. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Dude, I can breathe now. Is that a little easier? Oh, it's so much easier. <laughs> a little easier? <laughs> yeah. All right, so for me, my take on this is that, David said a lot already, what I really like is I can load that hip way more. When I'm in the middle, I never get to that end range. I never get that coil on that side. Right. If I want to drive that way, if I'm shooting a cannonball yes. out of a cannon, I want the cannonball to be pointed Ahead of the explosion, right? Yes. My legs, the explosion. And the, the cannonball, this yeah. the cannonball is your center of mass. Okay. So we want the center of mass to go straight, and in order to make that happen, you coil everything around that. Coil. Yep. Coil, and then boom. Next step yeah. on the other coil. Next step on the yeah. other coil. Exactly. The, fin the infinity pattern. Yes. Helps you change size. Yes. Without wasting energy. Correct. That felt great. It's energy economy is what it is. You're getting more done with less, and then we just add more effort, and you get a lot more done. Hey. Right? Very simple. All right. So that's the basic head over foot on the stairs. Anyone can apply that to walking, hiking. You can apply it to walking on the ground, but you feel it in the, in the stairs. That It's the easiest way to feel it and experience it, the difference it makes. And now we're going to add a, a boost of power the next step, through yeah. the hands. I'm going to run a couple reps with the propulsors. Okay. With the pulsers, you're going to notice that every time my foot lands, both hands jolt. Both hands. So I'm not doing this one up, one down. I'm coming both down and both up. So if I'm going to hit that, I get that little bing, 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 bing. <laughs> that was easier than without them, I swear to God. Oh, man. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. The weightless feeling of that is great, right? Every athlete yeah. that we have trained, yeah. so every single athlete that we have trained, from professional to child, is faster up the stairs with the propulsors than without. Mm -hmm. Extremely counterintuitive that you could put mass at the distal extremities, the hands, that allows you to go faster. It's, it's Shall we time it? Shall we, let's each do a rep. Let's get your phone out. Let's time yeah, it. Sure. I want to give it a go. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. I'll wait till your last step on the top. Yeah. Oof. 6.86. Okay. Take a minute. Three, two, one, go. Nice. What was it? 5.80. But okay. I, I was, I stopped at a step early, but I think that's about six on the dot. Like, yeah, yeah. So there's a bit of human error there, but 5.80. What we do to get a precise measure of the time is we set up a camera 
that is on a tripod and the camera does not move, so the frame is exactly the same. Yeah, that's the way to do it. And then the starting line and the finish line, exactly the same. Yeah. And then we can compare rep over rep with frame by frame precision. Okay. So we can measure which is faster with precise detail. There is no okay. human error. So how about I give it a go because you need a rest. <laughs> yep. And I'll do it on that stair set. Okay. And we'll film from the middle here. Okay. And we'll, we can shoot across. Yeah, sounds so good. Let's go do that. Yep. Am I going head in, the, head, head in the middle or am I going head over foot and just no pulsing, right? I think you just head over foot at this point. No with more no head in the middle. Yeah. No worries. Okay, I'm ready. All right, you, you count me in. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Five, eight, five. Five, eight, five. 30 seconds. Are you ready when you are? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Woo! 5.1. Dude, that felt so much better. <laughs> that felt hey. amazing. Five, one, zero. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that felt so and, good. And it felt better too, didn't it? It felt so much better. Like, I'm not bullshitting. <laughs> like, that is just... Well, faster is faster, so... Faster is faster, yeah, but there's, there's so much nuance of like, it's easy to have a, a bias without even yeah, yeah, yeah. intending right, one. And like, right, sure. you try a little harder because you're more motivated to yeah, prove it. Yeah, that's right. You want it to yeah. be true. Yeah, so it got to be... Right. Exactly, you want it to be true. Right, right. So... Well, that's why we've done it with, you know, a lot of athletes mm. filming them so they can see it. And then yeah. when I... When I have athletes out on the staircase, they are faster with them and I prove it with the, the video. And then I ask them, I say, if I were the coach who's going to punish you and say, we're doing 20 of these, yeah. do you want to carry the propulsors or do you not want to carry yeah. the propulsors? And 100% of the time, the answer is, I want to carry them. Yeah. Because it is easier to go up the stairs and it happens to be faster. Yeah. With easier. Yeah, it felt easier. And my knee was like lifting up by itself. It it's, felt like it was like. Once you, once you engage the connective tissue, mm. you know how to create that maximum recoil from the connective tissue, that's the free. It doesn't contract on its own. It only reacts the connective react, tissue, yeah, right? I'm, and the reactive force is reflexive. The reactive force is more powerful than the muscle force. And you put them together. If you have strong muscles, right? and strong connective tissue, that's the best you can be. So but if you're not balanced, then you can't express it. Mm. Can't develop it. Yeah. Right? You know, I, and I the, fact, the fact that this is new information is absolutely crazy. Yeah. Right? I mean, how could we not understand walking? One. Yeah, we've both just been repping it out, getting some, uh, you know, vertical. You got to shoot everything vertical and horizontal these days. <laughs> so, got some slow mo IG content. Now I'm feeling like there's some good parkour here. So hopefully, if David doesn't mind being my cameraman, capturing a few clips. Love it. While you get your breath back. Love it. Some rail jumps over here. We got some uh, blocks over here. All right, let's go take a look. It's Be careful. It's recording. Thank you, Dave. Okay, pretty small. No, 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 it's worth it. Don't, no, 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 please. He found meaning in life. Yeah. He changed his mind. <laughs> big cat, is that a big cat? That, that, that's even like, yes. Let's look at these then. That is so cool. So what I would say is I would say that you're an expert mover. Yeah. And please tell them if what WEC method is done for you and your movement. 
Okay, let me get this last one and then we'll okay. come down and talk. That's cool. Yes. Okay, hold on, let me get the... <laughs> okay. Good grief! Wow! You just gotta love it. Yeah. You just gotta love it. So, work method really helped me just to understand that final 5% of parkour that some of the top athletes are already doing intuitively, but no one's teaching it because it's like, swing your arms and jump. And it's like, okay, well that makes sense, right? But there's none of that. There's this, um, we use verticalization, right? So it's the lift of the shoulders, the whip down of the arms, the snap, boom, that pulse. Work method helped me learn and lean into that yep. because I understood biomechanically it's connective tissue, it's not all muscle. It's not all about swinging. There is swinging, but there's also a pulse and a bounce that can help use the elasticity of the body. So that was one thing for my plyometrics, my two footed jumps. And then for my strides, my running precisions, using the head over foot as I run up to it, I get way more power out. If, I have, if I've only got a limited run up, like this red to that red, now I use head over foot. If I was trying to accelerate like this, and jump to that step, I'm barely gonna make it. Show us that again. So if I go head in the middle, I'm gonna try and jump to the step now from the red. Okay. Right. <laughs> Nearly. Let's try head over foot. So this is the work method style coil, head over foot. <laughs> so it's obviously could be biased there, but for me, I can feel that head over foot acceleration is one of the best things Wet Method gave me. It's the key. And then what have you done with the ropes? Oh, the ropes. The ropes are just the funnest modality. Like I've, got, I've been into Rubik's Cubes. I've been into handstands. I've played a bit of Kendama. I've played a bit of that yo-yo when I was a kid. All sorts of little brain puzzles and games. Rope flow is like, it's a brain puzzle, but it, a body puzzle at the same, you solve it with the body. So that's given me this integrated feeling in my body of left side and right side talking to each other so that my whole body, from my fingers to the ground, I connect. I can maximize my hands, what my hands can take out of the ground, I've learned from the rope. So that's one thing to put there. And it's just been a fun modality for a warm up, a cool down, or even when I've been injured, I'll be truthful, when I've had bad injuries or like my ankle's been, had a chronic ankle injury, it gave me something to do that was movement based, that was rewarding. So if you've got an injury, you're like, you want to move, but you a bit feel fragile, like I did, I felt really fragile. Rope flow is the gift from the heavens, from God, from David, for you to play with as it was for me. <laughs> and now we can play like that. David's just... Okay, so Tim just jumped from this red line with only the startup from there and he jumped over to that step. I'm a size 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and a half, yeah. and the six inches. This is 12, 12 and a half feet. The run up is about the, maybe that's 15 bit, feet, yeah, right? a little bit longer. And he goes with the, with the core brace, he didn't even make the step. No, I mean, I maybe would have like just been able to scrape it, but it would have felt like a risk to my body, whereas head over foot, I felt I overshot it. Like yes. I stepped over when I yes. made it. Yes, yes. So, Again, could be other stuff involved, but I know what I feel in my body and head over foot in a run up for parkour is right now what I'm inspired by and what my biggest gift to anyone that's doing free running or parkour or running jumping is, or accelerate, has to accelerate for any kind of reason, explore head over foot, explore the figure of eight. The other thing is say somebody's doing a Spartan race, right? So you have 20 obstacles, but mm. it's a six mile track or a 10 mile track. Yeah. You've got a lot of running to do in between the obstacles. So what if you could shave time or the things in between the obstacles? Save energy, right? Save energy and get there faster and then be fortified to do obstacles better too because you're fundamentally stronger. Your expectation you do WEC method is you should be stronger in what you are strongest at now. Mm. That's my promise. Yeah, because yeah, that's it's, my promise. It's upstream of everything. Well, what? and it's underneath and what you're doing is you're tapping into the core quadrants here, like they've never been tapped before. Yep. And when I, understand, when I understand how to catch it all right here, now I have this coil and I'm not tired, I'm poised to pounce because I'm in this position here. Yeah, look at that. You see? 
wham. Yeah. And then what happens is, when I transfer off this foot, it's a diagonal, and watch what happens when I go head over foot. You're gonna focus on my feet. So when I go head over foot, I get more projection from that foot on the ground. Yeah. So there's a continuity where I have this projection, projection. If I go with my core straight, I don't have this, <laughs> I'm not even uh, balanced, but I don't have the- Because the foot's curved, the foot curves off. Well, and I don't have the internal continuity of coil, Yeah. Spring, long, spring, and yeah. now I land on coil. Yeah. So coil long, coil long, yeah. coil long, with a fully integrated step, yeah. integrated step. Yeah. It's not this, this, yeah. It's the woo, and it, boom, it, here's boom. a reference from parkour that people might know. If you're doing a wall pop, if we run up a wall and try to catch, and it's the same with basketball. Yes. It's, it's, you, can, you can dunk with one hand easier than you can with two. Right, because you can do this. So you can reach further. So Yeah, you can do this. When you coil, you get more length out of every step. Yes. So every step is, and then you use, I mean, it's just win, 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 right? Stride length yeah. is longer and the frequency is the same. And you're coming from a, you're using more of the, the myofascial loading, boom, to bounce out of tensegrity. Right. right. I want to pull these walls here, last little okay. session. Sounds great. Boom. Do it again and stick the landing. Stick the landing, David knows. That's what, it, that's what counts. Hey! Perfect 10. Yeah, I'm gonna take, does it smell of piss? I have to be honest, sorry San Diego, but your place smells a lot of both human piss and dog piss. Just telling them that San Diego smells like a mixture of human and dog piss, like. Yes. Five days out of seven. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Monkey bars everywhere. I look, you've got so many bar parks. Monkey bars. Can yeah. you do monkey bars? Yeah, I can do monkey bars. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Yeah. I'm I'm, this is my thing, David. I'm promoting monkey, bring back, make monkey bars great again for Absolutely, adults. Absolutely, man. Like if you're a kid, oh, let me get, uh, you stretch it out. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I got a yeah. elbow. Oh, yeah, don't hurt. From jiu jitsu. Oh. So the hang hurts. Oh, it's a lot, yeah. But yeah. do you like monkey bars, brachiation, figure eight? Oh, I love it, yeah. yeah. And like everywhere I lived, I always put a pull-up bar in. Okay, yeah. Right? And I'm not that good mm. at it. Most pull-ups I ever did was 26, where it was here. Lock out. Yeah. And then pull, chin over bar, yeah. come down, wait for the guy to say go. Marine style. Definitely. But you know what's it funny? It definitely is, yeah. I like partial range now. Dude, me too, man. Yeah, I like... Like, people hate on Joel Seedman, but I think there's a place for that. Like. Oh, there's definitely a place for it, but like, even here, if I'm gonna do a pull-up, Yeah. right? So, if I'm gonna do a pull-up, I like just there. Yeah. I wanna keep my elbows like 135. Yeah. Don't let it go, don't let it go. There, right? And that feels better, because I can't straighten that anyway. Yeah. So for me, it feels more like functional to be here, because then you like that, then as you're opposed to here. as well, you're yeah. not just letting the... The, the joints take the pressure. You, right, right, you, right. You're sort of, I just feel like I'm, yeah. if I want to be more functional, yeah. I want to have that control. Yeah. If I'm just hanging here, I sort of got to break out of that. I agree. And I think it's both sides utilized. So you still want to have that. Always, always. But it, for me, and that whole like, Joel Seedman, like limit it to that yeah. 90 degree yeah. and get really powerful there and then do Ben Patrick, where you're going absolute full range of motion. It's both sides, people. <laughs> it's, it's both, both sides. sides. I, I'm totally it's with you. It's both sides. Ooh, it's hard to do one-handed. We got some music to dance to. It's like a mon training montage music. Go, David. It's that Rocky, Rocky control, soundtrack. Control. Control, control. <laughs> You're like a dance troupe now, David. <laughs> We just need some mass. We'll be the Jabberwockies with some ropes, man. This is the Roperwockies.
Nice. Cool. Hey. I think we're wrapped. Hopefully you can hear us. There is a pretty badass Christian rock band going on over there. Um, we had some fun. Are we going to go back? I think we need a rest. I need a rest anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chill out, maybe refuel, refuel a bit, and then maybe we'll go out a little bit later, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, thanks. And so. I've not been in the sea today. I'm definitely going to go in the sea. Oh, nice. Whether you're on it or not on my own or with you. Either, okay, either great. Way. Yeah. I don't know if that other one's gonna come. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, that one's there? Yeah, but he's in oh, there. Oh, is he in there? Was oh, he like half in there? Yeah, sort of. We got some great footage. Hmm. We went to uh, the convention hey, center. Bro. <laughs> So I'm, I'm coming there, and I'm dead. Yeah, uh, the one with the face on the Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Like the Oh, God, fuck! Yeah, that's crazy. Let oh, me swim. Damn! Badass. Boom, boom! Swim. Bam, bam! Oh. <laughs> wow! Boom, boom! How about this? Ooh. Mm. <laughs> I think you were dead there. I think so. I think so. Ow. Here, here, here. Well, I'm going to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now I got to go back. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Much on the bottom? No. Uh, oh. It's awful. All right. We're going to head out of the lab now. We're going to head off. All right, Steve. Oh, that's Steve Cotter. Kettlebell same legend car, next door. Yeah. yeah. Same day, same year. What? We were born. You got the same birth your your birthday bros. Yep. One seventeen. With, with Steve Carter. 1970. I remember reading Simple and Sinister and seeing his picture in there. Yeah, that's yeah. right. The young Steve Carter did pistol squats with double sixteens just Oh, in the, in the, I think it was similar to Sinister, one of Pavel's uh, books. Naked Warrior. Oh, Naked Warrior, that was it, yeah. I remember seeing your picture. I was like, oh, it's Steve, sick. <laughs> Young Steve Carter, nice. Well, there's a famous clip of him doing a pistol squat, jumping onto a three-foot table. I've seen it, yeah. Down his Russian butt. Russian National Anthem. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what's playing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's landing in a deep pistol and then jumping onto a three-foot table. I remember and seeing boom, that, yeah. Boom, boom. What, what's your thoughts on parkour then, David? You're just sharing some... Well, what I would say about the parkour is when you see an advanced parkour athlete performing, it's evidence that the human animal is not so pathetic after all. Yeah, peace, man. Nice. Yeah. Got some food. I'm starving. <laughs> David said he's fasted so far today. He said you're pretty good at fasting, eh? Yeah, I can... Uh... I can eat like a lion and yeah. eat a ton of food, and I don't need to eat until, you know, 24 hours. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's a good beach. Look at that. Here we go. Kim is about to traverse the, the oh. cave here. Splunking. Yeah. It's a... He's splunking through the cave. This is a very tight squeeze, but others have done it. <laughs> if it were an emergency, we'd all have no problem. It's nice job. <laughs> here he is. <laughs> he emerged. Kale chip? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, Goose liver. It's, 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 this is actually chicken. 
Mm. Made with chicken. As they're doing it, but they're not doing it to the same no, extent. You see his shoulder drop on it. Yes. To them, exactly. It's it's way stiffer. It's it's that yeah, look at that. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. They look way more. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. So cool to see. Final trip of the day. That's right. It's been a, it's been a good day. Yeah, it's been a good day. <laughs> got, David got to see his kids as well. And uh, Almost every day. Yeah, oh, nice. That's and, right. Uh, I lock, love them. They're going to lock up the lab now. Locking it up. <laughs> right everyone i think we're gonna wrap it there thanks for watching today thanks for showing me around david thank you for yeah. being amazing <laughs> <laughs> well i was watching the footage on my laptop of the pulsing man and there's a summit i mean we the both feeling of it the... just we went up the stairs yeah. faster with less effort it yeah. is absolutely wonderful yeah <laughs> that's it so stay tuned we've got more footage videos for david coming from my time in san diego oh yes yeah. laters a whole lot more